Yes, you're welcome. Now, today in this video, we are going to talk about how you can set up a Class C drug shop with a capital of around 3.5 to 4 million shillings. This is an updated tutorial of a tutorial I made uh, last time of setting up a Class C drug shop with 3 million shillings. Now, there are those who can set up a Class C with over 4 million shillings if they want to put in things like fancy furniture, and she'll set it up below 3 million shillings if they are really on a very tight budget. Now, if you are new to this channel, my name is Jacob, and basically here we talk about medical businesses, education, career guidance, and entrepreneurship. So if you really enjoy my content, you can consider subscribing to my channel. Click a thumbs up if you enjoy the content, and don't hesitate to make your comment right there in the comment section if you have any question you want to ask here on my tutorial now i've made very many good videos on how to set up a class a drug shop uh, how to set up a clinic uh, how to set up a small retail pharmacy and how to set up uh, a nursing home so if you want any of those tutorials uh, you can go down in the description section i put down links on all those tutorials just go and log in uh, today we are going to talk about how to set up a class C drug shop, uh, the qualifications needed, uh, the procedures you need to go through when setting up a class C drug shop, and generally the general format of how you can set up your class C drug shop with ease. Now we are going to start with the qualification. Now a class C drug shop is the simplest of all medical businesses to start because almost every medical worker qualifies to set up a class C drug shop. Right from an enrolled nurse can set up, enrolled midwife can set up, a registered midwife can set up, a registered nurse, comprehensive nurse can set up, a clinical officer can set up, and also a pharmacy technician or a dispenser can set up a class C drug shop. So it's one of those simplest businesses you can start with such very little capital for. Now the next thing we are going to talk about is the location. Like all medical businesses, the location of your class C drug shop is quite very important so that your customers can reach to you. Now you need to get a suitable location like near a crossroad, a marketplace, a taxi park, and all in all, the most important places you can get it is to get it to get a place near a government facility. Most of those government facilities run out of drugs easily. So if you uh, find a place near a government facility where you can set up your class C drug shop, it's the best place because you'll get a lot of clients. Another thing you need to note when you are setting up this type of business here in Uganda is you have to know that nowadays class C drug shops are no longer acceptable in Kampala. And another thing you need to know is all municipalities and towns, uh, they don't require you to set up a class C drug shop. Why? Because there are very many pharmacies there. If a place has very many pharmacies, they don't allow you to set up a class C drug shop. So basically you need to go out the outskirts of Kampala for you to give given a chance to set up a class C drug shop. If I'm getting a location in these very good places very hard, you need to use brokers. Now brokers are very important to look for you a place where you can set up a class C drug shop. They can easily uh, go around and look for a very suitable place or someone who is moving out or someone who is not managing his business very well and needs to be bought. Uh, those are people you can trust to look for your place. They will charge you a small fee, but it's what they eat. But when you get the place, please hurry to pay and book your place because all those places are on higher demand. When, when you delay more than six hours, you find someone has already taken the place. So you need to hurry when you get a place near a market or a taxi park where you can set up your class C drug shop. That, the next thing you need to go in for is inspection. You need to have your area inspected before you start business. Yeah, because there are a lot of requirements where the inspectors need to look out for before they give you a go ahead to start this business. Now what you need to do, you go to the district and get a district drug inspector. There are always district drug inspectors who take care of that business. So they come and inspect your place to find out whether it's suitable for you to start up this business. So the thing they look out is basically the area space, 
and also the meters from the pharmacy or to a nearest drug shop. From the pharmacy, you need, you need to be at least 1.5 kilometers away from the nearest pharmacy. And also, you need to be around 200 meters away from the nearest drug shop. They don't want this split thing where they park a nearby drug shop. Someone has put here and also you put here. They don't want that. They want spaces at least 200 meters from the nearest a drug shop and 1.5 kilometers from the nearest pharmacy. So all those ones need to be taken note of and also when you are filling your application form, there are those things which you have to fill there as a must. Meters from the nearest drug shop and kilometers from the nearest pharmacy. Those are very important for you. Now after everything is okay, you need to apply, make an application. Now before you make an application, they will charge you a small inspection fee. The inspection fee is negotiable. You can negotiate and pay them their inspection fee for their services. Then after that, they will help you make a, an application for your license. Now there are two applications you need to make. The one for suitability of premises and the one which gives you a license to set up this type of businesses. On top of that, you need to make a sketch map, a sketch map for your business as part of your application. And on top of that, another thing you need to do is to sign up a commitment letter. They make you write a commitment letter so that you can commit yourself to be a full-time in charge of that class C drug shop. So all those are the requirements needed and also they will need some passport photograph, then you sign. That's all which is needed for you to set up this class C drug shop. Now another thing is the fees. Now the fees for the application of a class C drug shop vary from location to location. In a town center it can come to around 120,000. Then in a village center or a rural area it can go as low as 70,000. So the, the fees vary according to the place you've set up your class Once you paid and you have your receipts you just need to start business don't wait until your license comes up because the license can go even three months without you getting your your, your license to operate so you just start business straight away as long as you have the receipts so the next thing is for you to order good furniture get good fancy furniture which can uh, attract your customers put it in place and also if you have some more money you can uh, put some shelves for glasses. Glasses are really very attractive. If you look at most of those pharmacies, they have very beautiful glasses. So the, most of those people can put for you those glasses at quite a very negotiable amount of money. So get shelves, uh, put a counter table, and also a little form for your clients. I'll try to make your place a little bit attractive. Uh, get a water tank and also keep SOPs. Uh, standard operating procedures are quite very important here in the COVID pandemic period. After setting up your furniture, the next thing is you need to order for drugs. Now getting class C drugs is quite a challenge for many people, especially those who are just starting up this business. They end up getting each drug which is on the market. Drugs for a class C are quite very limited. You need to get these over-counter drugs. Uh, drugs like coatem, uh, painkillers, uh, cough suppressors, cough lictors. Those are the class C drugs. You can even put sounds like gauze and all those other things. Some people can combine class C plus cosmetics. That's acceptable in a class C drug shop. You can combine your business with cosmetics. That's acceptable to boost your business. But please don't put drugs which are not classy. When we talk about drugs which are not classy are drugs like antibiotics which are in B and also narcotics and injectables. If you put those things in your drug shop, the NDA people will come and take away all your drugs. So please, please avoid drugs which are not class C. Avoid antibiotics, avoid narcotics, avoid all those injectables. They bring you problems in your class C. Maintain your drugs to only class C. So next, we are going to look at the general setup of a class C drug shop, the budgeting, and also a sketch map of your class C drug shop. This is a small budget of your class C drug shops. Now I've mentioned only things which you must not miss when budgeting for your class C drug shop. One of the things is rent. Uh, rent most of the people would want for three months or six months, depending on how you negotiate the, 
with them. So I've estimated rent for those first three months, 1.2. Let me say you've got a house for 400,000. So within three months, that's around 1.2 million. Then inspection fee, I've estimated it to be 120 because it's something negotiable. So you negotiate with them and pay their inspection fee. Then the license is, I've estimated it to be 120,000 as well. Yes, in urban centers, it can be 120,000. Then in the rural areas, it can go as low as 70,000. Then in furniture, I've also estimated it to be 1.2 million. If you calculate the counter table, a good one can go to around 500. Shelves, depending on whether you want a, a wood or glasses, that depends on you can range also between 400 500 then chairs it also depends on how your budget can be between uh, 50 to 100 so basically i've estimated furniture to take you 1.2 million it can be either less or more drugs drugs you only shop 1 million is enough for you to pack your whole shop uh, only these dra uh, classic drug shops, uh, Coate, Moat, Sandries, 1 million is enough. Drugs are not very expensive. Most of them actually are very cheap. So 1 million is enough for you to pack your classic drug shop. Then a signpost, an average good one is around 100,000. A small water tank is also around 100,000. A water tank is very important, especially in this season where SOPs are taken very seriously. Then other things, miscellaneous, you can buy like envelope uh, and all those other things which will be important in your shop. I've estimated them to be around 160000 So a total of $4 million is enough for you to set up an average uh, class C drug shop. So don't uh, hesitate to set up. It can either be slightly low or some people, if they want those good ones, they can go slightly above four million shilling yeah so this is a profitable business because if you buy a pack of paracetamol at two thousand you can sell it at six thousand you get a profit of around four thousand shillings so this is quite a very profitable business which i believe anyone can start up from any amount of money depending on your location uh, so the next thing we are going to look at is a sketch map of our classic drug shop uh, so this is a sketch map of our classic drug shop as you can see it uh, here is our water tank these are the shelves from here up to here up to here uh, if you have some good money you can make some glasses for you they can put a few glasses here up to here it can take you around 500 600 thousand but if you uh, don't have enough money you can just put no more our shelves made out of wood very nice wood and then here is our counter table a very nice one a good one can cost you around 500 600 thousand uh, here is a small chair uh, or a form where your clients can sit one or two then here is a sign for post sign post is very important because it shows what you are doing here uh, so basically uh, this is a simple sketch map of our class C drug shop and you have to attach it uh, when you're making an application for you to get a license uh, for your drug shop then the next thing I'm going to show you is a commitment letter so this is how you write a commitment letter and most people don't know how you you can write a commitment letter they tell you to write a commitment letter to show as a you as a full-time in charge most people don't know how to write it so briefly you write here uh, your address either jacobs uh, drug shop show your address kampala or bukono whatever it is and uh, then here to the national drug authority through the district drug inspector you write the addresses of both these people then you just write dear sastrock madam recommitment letter i jacob a clinical officer rn or enrolled nurse enrolled midwife with documents attached commit myself as a full-time in charge of jacob's drug shop uh, as simple as that yours faithfully signed just like any letter but this is a format of how you should write your commitment letter so in brief, those are the things uh, needed. Uh, once you write your application letter, uh, put on a commitment letter, uh, put on your sketch map, two passport size photographs, 
and all your documents nowadays all your documents have to be certified yes it's very important you have to go to your councils and certify your documents those are the documents which you have to take to the council for them to give you a license so in brief these are the things are needed for you to set up your class C drug shop i've taken you through each and everything so if you have any questions on how to set up the requirements needed the documentation the application uh whatever you need just please um make your comment right there in the comment section whatever question you want to ask put it in the comment section we shall discuss about it thank you very much for tuning in and watching uh, my tutorial